What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. Scorpio, I need somebody right here beside me each time I do a read to be like, bitch, mic check. You know what I'm saying? Check your damn mic, fool. Because <laughs> when I tell y'all, I cannot remember to turn this damn mic on. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and get into this reading. If anything resonates for you, Scorpio, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also, comment. Let me explain know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, you guys, my email will be in the description box below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's go. All right, you guys, this is a dick. I normally don't go too, too often, but I was led to pull here, so let's see what's going on. All right, so the first card we have, Scorpio, is the seven, boy, the seven, 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 been heavy. Scorpio, you are a legacy of light, okay? I feel like, Scorpio, you come from a long lineage of light workers, and you may have not even been aware of this, okay? Your great-grandmother, your grandmother, your mother may have been a light worker, and, okay? And I feel like you were destined to be this light worker. You were destined to step into this energy ever since birth, okay? Like, it was written, you know what I'm saying? It was written for you to, to take on this, 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 uh, what am I trying to say? To take on this role as this light worker here, okay? And to help heal the earth. But I feel like this is something, even your kids, if you have kids, they have a gift too as well. Let's look at this. Your ancestral lines, not only in the blood, but are also in spirit, okay? The more you are nourished by this legacy of light from your past, the more you will, will become the bearer of the legacy for those who will be supported by your light in the future, which are your children here, okay? Love and respect that is passed down from the heart of each generation to the next, okay? Creativity, wisdom, radical courage, okay? And love and respect that has been passed down from one generation to the next. This legacy of light is your spiritual birthright to refine and reshine your essence in the world. Be like the sun, radiant and unapologetic for your nature here, okay? This card comes, Scorpio, because you need confirmation that a creative choice you are making or you have made or soon will make is one that is in alignment with your sacred purpose and spiritual path of healing and growth here, okay? I feel like, Scorpio, as you start to step into your divine path, as you start to heal and you start to grow, Scorpio, people are going to look at you as a sacred fool. They're going to look at you as someone who has no clue what you're doing. Someone's just out here free balling. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you're unapologetically you. You know what I'm saying? Rihanna had a, a, a CD, an a album called Unapologetic. And Scorpio, you should be unapologetically you. However you are, what you look like, whatever, Scorpio, embrace your difference, okay? Because you were put here. You were meant to be different. You weren't supposed to fit in. You weren't supposed to do what your grandma and, and, and people on your bloodline did. You're supposed to be doing something totally different, but you still come from that lineage. You still come from that same line, but you still have your own path here, okay? I feel like, Scorpio, you're the type of person to just tell it who it is, okay? You tell your truth without restraint, okay? And people look at you as this sacred fool because, Scorpio, you don't care, and, and you care, but you really don't care for, like, you're like a rebel. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to do things that you know is right. Sometimes, Scorpio, we live in that, on that tippy toe of that line between what's real and what's not real. But I feel like you have an inner wisdom, okay? You're strongly, you're very intuitive. And I feel like you can't be dictated or controlled by anything or anyone. The only person that controls you is the person upstairs. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to anyone else, like, you do you. And you're unapologetically you, Scorpio, okay? And spirit loves you. Spirit loves that about you, Scorpio, okay? I feel like when you're very inspired, Scorpio, like you shine your best 
when you're feeling inspired. You know what I'm saying? When you have confidence within yourself, that's when you really show the fuck out, okay? But I feel like spirit is saying, I feel like some of you guys, maybe you're trying to, you know, maybe your your language, your dialects, how you talk, how you whatever, it may be inappropriate to other people. Spirit is saying, they ain't put you here to be appropriate, Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? They want you to speak your true authentic self. And sometimes if you got to cuss and, and say what it is, then get it out because you're expressing, okay? Because everything that you do, Scorpio, it's not going to be sociably accepted. Hell, I don't want to be sociably accepted to anybody, okay? They just want you to do you, okay? I feel like as a sacred fool, you're willing to leave behind what has been it will no longer feel right. Okay? So that means you're able to release. You're able to walk away from things, people, places, you know what I'm saying, that no longer serve you because on this new level that you're going to, you know you can't take some of these people with you. You know what I'm saying? You realize as you grow and you evolve, you ain't going to be going and hanging out at the same spots. A lot of us going to be spending a lot of time by our damn self. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like some of you have been trying to like script your life. Like you, you done wrote out this script about how your life is supposed to be. And you've been trying to play this shit according to the script. And the spirit like, that ain't the damn script. We wrote out like, we wrote this shit out way before you was even thought of a player, a play it. You know what I'm saying? So you can't write your own script and feel like you know what you're going to do and, and, and how shit is supposed to be. Because spirit already got our script out. We just here living this shit. We don't know what we signed up for, Scorpio. And that's for me. <laughs> Me and the family members talking about like, shit, what the, what the hell did we sign up for? Because I don't remember. We must have read that fine print at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? They just showed us some great shit. And we was like, yeah, yeah, we can do this shit. And then fucked around and got down here like, damn, can we do this shit? Yeah, we can do it, Scorpio. All right, the last card we have here is Conscious Connections. This is two people here. I feel like you you are consciously connected to someone, Scorpio, whether you know it or not. I feel like some of you are, are wanting something. You're wanting some type of connection or to feel something here, okay? It says there is a call for more intimacy in your immediate relationships, okay? There is an opening for heart-to-heart -heart communication that can salvage and restore a broken relationship, friendship, or a friendship if you are willing to honor your differences and look to what unites you, okay? So, Scorpio, I feel like this is talking about you and your twin. Because if you look at these two people, they're, they're, they're different, but they're the same. You got one person that may not be confident within themselves, and you got somebody else that's stepping boldly in their confidence, okay? One person may be willing to live life high in the definition, while the other may prefer to live more vicariously until they have confidence. Thank you, spirit. To step onto the center stage of their own life story, okay? We are not here to judge each other, Scorpio, just to love and to be loved and to let go of those who cannot accept us as we are open to those who can, okay? This oracle brings guidance for you to trust in the in the sanctuary, in the sanction of the connections in your life, okay? So what this means, Scorpio, you may even be now or in the future, you're going to be connecting with many different people all around the world, okay? Some of you guys are going to look very similar. You're going to have... You're going to feel like home. You're going to feel immediate connection to some of these people because those similarities are going to be so uncanny. Okay. And then there's going to be other people who you're going to look alike. You know what I'm saying? You, you're going to share those same ideas, but you're going to move and groove and you're going to do shit differently. Okay. And just because someone doesn't share that same outlook or aspect that you do does not mean that that person is wrong. Okay. But spirit wants you to, to understand, you know what I'm saying? That you, and I feel like... <clears throat> I feel like, Scorpio, everyone is not going to agree with you. Everyone is not going to be on your level. Everybody is not going to be willing to, to, to go down this path as you or even see the path that you're going down. But what Spirit wants you to know, Scorpio, as long as you're on that center stage, baby, you stand up fully. Stand up fully for yourself and stand up fully for everyone else here, okay? I feel like also here with this card, Scorpio, okay, there's a, there's a conversation that's wanting to be had, okay? And this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to help salvage and restore a broken relationship. Let's pull on this card. Messages for my Scorpios. Let's, am I going here? Okay, messages for my Scorpios. Let's look at this more. 
Scorpio, you can be the number 35, or you can be the age 35, or the age 35, number 35. Scorpio can be significant here. Tell us about conscience connections, Holy Spirit. Conscience, conscience connections. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. Tell us more about this connection. What is this desire? What is this heart to heart conversation? What is, what is this about, Holy Spirit? And I feel like, Scorpio, whoever this is, you and this person are going to have to both be naked, both be raw, stand in your truth here, okay? This isn't a time to hold back and, you know, all this stuff. Like, this is a time to stand up and stand raw, stand in your truth here. Tell us more about this, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this conscious connection. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Tell us more about this conscious connection, Holy Spirit. Oh authority mm. someone here scorpio was trying to step into their power here okay someone is trying i feel like this is a masculine energy here with this authority this is someone who represents leadership logic strength wisdom and power so someone here scorpio is trying to step into their authority trying to step into this masculine energy okay trying to be a leader because the leader is going to be the first person to do something okay you don't never wait on the leader to to you know do this and do that like a leader is going to be the first one to get some shit started and everybody else fall in line right so i feel like this person is trying to step into this leadership position okay trying to have more strength trying to use their wisdom trying to use their power here trying to be confident because this is someone who wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation because they know Scorpio, them stepping into this power is going to change the dynamic of this connection here, okay? And I'm definitely talking about your divine masculine here, okay? This is someone who steps into this power. They're able to problem solve, okay? So this could have been in the past. Our masculines was people who ran, you know what I'm saying? They ran from problems. They didn't want to face us head on. They didn't want to talk to us about what happened in the past this is someone who always ran okay but this person doesn't want to run okay they don't want to run this person doesn't want to run they're trying to become more grounded and this is someone who's trying to develop a strong mental control like this is someone who's mild and like, this is someone who's a thinker so this could be an air sign doesn't have to be but this is someone who lives in their head and they're trying to develop strong mental control and not let their mind wander and cause them to do things like run that they did in the past, okay? All right, tell us more, Holy Spirit. This is someone that's working on stability, becoming more stable and secure within themselves too with this four. And this is someone who also, I feel like, wants to work on this connection here. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about authority. Messages for my Scorpio. Ooh. Scorpio, we have crown chakra. Some, damn, we go to seven again, Scorpio. I can't make this up. Someone here, Scorpio, I feel like is really reflecting because seven talks about taking a step back and reflecting, right? I feel like someone here is reflecting on this connection here, okay? And this is also someone who has spiritual gifts and they're also a legacy of light as well, okay? This is someone who has a deep knowing, like something deep inside their soul lets them know that or is trying to encourage them or get them to see that having this conversation stepping outside their comfort zone is going to help salvage this broken relationship okay some of you guys maybe it's you you know maybe there's a friend that you guys fell off or maybe it's you that owes this person an apology okay maybe you stepping outside of your comfort zone is going to help open up the doors to mend this connection but i feel like someone here they have a deep knowing they know that if they just take this leap of faith, if they take this risk, that things could possibly be salvaged between you and them, okay? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us more. This is someone that realizes that they have to make a sacrifice. And their sacrifice that they're going to have to make, Scorpios, that they have to make the first move, okay? This is someone who could have always been used to Scorpio, you making the first move, or they've been waiting on you to make this first move, okay? But stepping into this leadership position, stepping into this divine and masculine energy, okay? Stepping into this power is going to get this person out of this mental conflict, okay? This is someone who has been in a lot of mental conflicts about how to come forward, how to talk to you, how to do this, how to do that, okay? 
but they know that they have to choose wisely because in the past they didn't make the right choice. They chose to run. They chose not to come towards you. They chose to just deal with a whole other situation that they really didn't even want to be involved in. But because this person, like I said, they think a lot. They're always in their mind, always in mental conflict, you know, keeping themselves from having this conversation. But now this person knows that they have to come forward because this conversation right here, them stepping into this power, them stepping fully into their authority here, this could salvage this broken relationship, this broken connection, this one that has been on your mind, Scorpio, just as much as it has been on this person's mind as well, okay? All right, you guys, so let's pull here. Let's see who this reading is about for my Scorpios. Scorpio, we have Libra, Heavy Aries, Sag. We also have Leo, Sag, Pisces, Gemini. And we have Leo, Taurus, Virgo, and Aquarius, you guys, okay? All right, Scorpio, I love you. And until next time, baby, stay blessed.